Three weeks after the investigators found Kayla Brown chained in a storage container there on the Woodruff property. Three bodies were also found buried on that property. They were Brown's boyfriend, Charlie Carver, and Megan and Johnny Coxey, another couple who had been missing. Cole Hepp is also facing four murder charges for the 2003 Superbike murders. Now he could be facing the death penalty. Today, Brianna Smith sat down with Congressman Trey Gowdy, who knows well the death penalty process. Brianna. Hey, Tom, during his tenure as the Seventh Circuit solicitor, Gowdy tried seven death penalty cases. He was also in office when Superbike happened. And with the possibility of Colehep facing the death penalty, we talked with Gowdy about what steps the public will see next. 2003, four people gunned down at a motorcycle shop in Chesney. Deputies began their investigation. The descriptions of these individuals that I. And at the same time, solicitor Trey Gowdy started his work looking for the person responsible. Were there, were there ever people brought to you that they wanted to make an arrest? No, 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 no. Lots of, um, lots of leads. For Gowdy's next eight years as solicitor, the case remained unsolved, and he tried seven death penalty cases, the same punishment that Todd Kolhep could now face for the 13-year-old crime investigators say he confessed to. Confessions alone are never enough, not even in a garden variety homicide case, certainly not in a capital case. Now solicitor Barry Barnett's work begins to decide whether to seek the death penalty. Killing more than two people during the same crime can warrant that, but they have to build an absolute perfect case, something Gowdy says isn't simple. Guilt can't even be a question. There can be no doubt as to who did it or frankly how it was done. The sole question is whether or not this is the proper punishment for this fact pattern. Adding to that difficulty, using 13-year-old evidence for a conviction. Take the jury back into that shop on, on the day of the murder, um, and you can do it. While the prosecution builds that case, a defense team for Cole Hepp will evaluate how to get jurors to look past the details that have been made public, just as John Reckenbile did for a previous client. Appeal to people's um, belief in God in the sense that people get, you know, um, are able to repent their sins. Todd Kolhep has not been um, told that he will be facing the death penalty case at this time, but he has already been represented by a capital defense team at the South Carolina Indigent Defense. Back to you guys.